Hey my wonderful friends of YouTube, welcome back to another one of my videos. This one is going to be a big one. It is the biggest disaster cleaning video you have ever seen on my channel. I'm going to be cleaning for two days and as you see me, I had my normal mess of a house but I was also planning on decluttering and cleaning out our extra bedroom in our house which you may have never seen before but it's kind of one of those rooms where we just throw everything in there and it is just a big disaster. So I'm going to be going in there removing every single thing that was jammed packed in there i'm gonna clean out the closet clean it all out so this is a big one make sure you stick around because i have so much cleaning motivation so much satisfying cleaning you are going to get up get moving and you're going to clean your house as well So I started out one evening cleaning my kitchen and my living room. The babies were already in bed and I was going to clean up the downstairs area and then I was going to drag my four-year-old Avery down in the basement with me to help clean up all of the toys before I finished more of a deep clean in the kitchen. And then I had planned on doing more of my normal mopping and vacuuming, but I also really wanted to scrub my oven, sink, and appliances. So that was me telling Avery that she had to put the microphone down, stop singing, and get moving, get cleaning. And it looks like she was being serious, but she was being totally dramatic and joking and was kind of giving me a joking face to say, okay, mom, I guess you're serious. I better get mo moving. So I just brought her down here to help me clean up the toys. And then I was also planning on cleaning our bathroom that was down here before finishing the upstairs. And I don't clean this basement too often, or at least I don't film it because I feel like you guys would get bored of just watching me clean toys. But I've had a few people say that they love watching me clean the basement because it is so satisfying. So let me know down below if you like seeing me clean the basement because I can definitely include it more. I just thought you guys would think me cleaning up toys would be boring. But seriously, you have to stick around to see me clean out that room upstairs. It was so overwhelming. I had so much to do, but I think it's the most satisfying video to see the before and the after. It is a huge transformation. My friend Amy Darley here on YouTube always does questions or this or that questions throughout her videos and I really like the idea because you guys can get to know me a little bit better, I can get to know your personalities a little bit more. So my first question, what is your favorite or who is your favorite Disney princess? I would say Ariel. Little Mermaid is my go-to Disney princess. Ariel's considered a princess, right? But that's probably my favorite. Avery would probably say Elsa or Anna, but let me know your favorite Disney princess down below. 
If you're new here and just finding my channel, I want to thank you for joining me, and I also don't think I thank my current subscribers enough for coming back each week and watching my videos, so thank you to any new people and any current subscribers and friends. I'm sure you know my name is Jamie from my channel name, but I am a mom to three girls. I am married to my high school sweetheart, Mike, and you will find a lot of cleaning, organization, decluttering, motivation videos here on my channel. I really, really love to clean. I love an organized house and although it's not easy with three small children, two of which are twins who are 10 months old, it's not easy but it's important to me so I really try my best. My goal is that I can build a community where you will feel uplifted and inspired so I would absolutely love to have you join my journey go ahead, hit that subscription button as well as the notification bell so you get notified every single week, every single video I put out here. And if you want to get to know me a little bit better, I will list a playlist right here. I will also link it down below in the video's description and you can get to know me a little bit more on a personal level, some of my non-cleaning videos. And if you you want a lot more whole house satisfying cleaning videos i'll also link my cleaning playlist so you can check that out as well Don't forget to come and follow me on Instagram. It's Jamie Lynn's with an S, Jamie Lynn's dot journey. It will also be linked down below. You can come find me, say hi, and get to know me and my daily life and just get to know me on a more different level than just cleaning. So many of you have said that you went out and bought this Rubbermaid power scrubber after seeing it on my channel. It runs on batteries and it gets into so many little creases and crevices all over my house and it's just a wonderful cleaning tool. I will have it linked down below if you want to check it out. I really like this Method heavy duty degreaser for cleaning my oven when I'm not really giving it a deep clean. I don't enjoy cleaning my oven at all. So I try to keep up with it so I don't have to deep clean it too often and spend a lot of time doing it. But I do think this Method heavy duty degreaser is pretty good. But if you have any recommendations for kind of like a basic, um, you know, everyday oven cleaner, let me know down below what your favorite is. I'm not a big fan of using the baking soda. Um, I just feel like it makes too much of a mess and plus it takes way too much time. So if you have a cleaner, a spray that I can use kind of for upkeep for my oven, let me know.
I know it may seem weird to use Endus on my stainless steel appliances, but I got the tip from Jessie Christine here on YouTube. She uses Endus to clean her stainless steel appliances sometimes, so I thought I would give it a go, and it did a really good job. But I also just ordered some e-cloths, which you'll be seeing me using here later in the video upstairs, but I ordered some for my stainless steel appliances because I had a lot of you recommend them. I cannot wait to try them out, so stay tuned if you need some good products to clean your stainless steel appliances. Again, make sure you stick around to see the transformation of that disaster of a bedroom we have upstairs. It is a huge, huge transformation. Isn't there just something so peaceful about mopping at night? At least I find it really peaceful because I think part of it is, you know, it's nighttime, everyone's asleep, it's quiet, and I do my mopping the last part after I've cleaned the whole house. So I feel good, I feel calm, I just love mopping at night. So the next day I woke up and got started early in the morning and I wanted to clean the entire upstairs before I got started in the extra bedroom and tackling that huge mess. I wanted to clear everything from the hallway because I knew we would be moving a lot of things out there as we were cleaning out the bedroom and I wanted to also make sure our bedroom was clean and you know do the normal cleaning things I like to do before I tackle the big project. Another question, would you pick pizza or pasta? 
I am a pizza girl all the way. That's my cheat meal, the meal I go to, my comfort meal. I love pizza, but let me know pizza or pasta for you. To clean my mirrors, I'm using an e-cloth, which I've used before here on my channel, and it does such an amazing job. It's a cloth that you just need water to clean, and you can find so many different cloths for all over your house, so many different surfaces, and I know it's like hard to believe that you can actually clean or a, a rag that just has water on it will do a good job cleaning, but let me tell you, the proof is in the results. I can use this rag, just add water, and it makes my mirrors and my windows sparkling. There's a whole science behind it that you can check out. I'll have a link down below, but I am telling you, these are wonderful cloths, and also they're easy because you don't need a cleaner with you, so make sure you go check out the link, but these e-cloths are really good. I ordered some stainless steel ones, a shower one, many more that I'm excited to try. I'll be completely honest with you, I was dreading cleaning that room out, but we are making it into an office, which I will also be sharing here on my YouTube channel as we, you know, decorate it and kind of get it ready. But I was just so motivated to make it a productive and useful room instead of a junk room because every time I opened that door, I would see all of the junk and it almost made me mad. So as unmotivated as I was to actually clean it out, I was motivated just to make it a purposeful and productive room. And then the last room I wanted to tackle before tackling the big mess was the girls' bathroom. So I went in there and I also wanted to clean out the humidifier. If you've been following me for some time, you know we have been pretty sick here in our household pretty much for the entire month of January. So we've had a lot of humidifiers going and I wanted to make sure it was cleaned out properly by using vinegar and water before I put it up in the closet.
this is what I'm gonna be cleaning out, decluttering, organizing, and just basically making over this entire room. All of this stuff is going to get out of here. We're gonna find different places for it. We're either going to donate it, we're gonna give it to someone else who really needs it, we're gonna rehome it somewhere in the house where it should be, and this room is going to be functional and it's not going to be a catch-all junk room anymore. So, it's a mess. I'm feeling super overwhelmed, but I'm gonna tell you I am super, super excited to make this room a true room and not have it be a mess. So here is the room. See, I wasn't lying when I told you it was a disaster. So I had Mike join me while the babies were napping and that's why it looks dark in the hallway because we had all of the doors closed up there. But he was helping me remove all of the things out of the room so I could actually do more of the decluttering part and the cleaning part. But like I said, our plan is to make this room an office. We moved in when Avery was a newborn baby and we just didn't really make this room anything in particular. And then we ended up using this room to house baby toys and clothes and extra things. We never got rid of any of Avery's baby things because we were hoping we would be able to use them again for another baby. And so we kind of use this room for that type of thing. We don't have an attic. We also cannot have a shed. It's part of our homeowners association rules. So the only space that we have, the only unused space, um, you know, storage space that we have, we have a little small unfinished room in our basement. So that's really the only space that we have and it's full of decorations and other things that we don't use on a monthly basis or you know maybe once or twice a year so this room kind of became an extension of that unfinished storage but i figured let's get in here let's declutter let's really find out what we're using and get rid of and donate things so i'm going to tell you guys what i'm doing so we're taking this completely out because I'm gonna be put utilizing this closet. Um, this will go in there. So some of the things that I know we have in here that I still want to keep in here, I'm gonna put in here. This is stuff we use throughout the year. So it's important to keep. I do have other stuff in here like mementos, things that I don't really have another place for but I don't use that I don't wanna get rid of, I think in that drawer. So I'm gonna put it in here and then put it in our basement for storage and label it what it is because I'm never gonna use this stuff so I don't really want to waste the space in here so I'm gonna fill this with that stuff put it in our storage area with all of the other stuff we use once a year or we don't use once a year you know that stuff that you have to keep and then in here I'm gonna keep um, everything that's in there I'm gonna put in there and I just thought this looked a lot nicer <laughs> um, it's one of those Sterilite containers I got from Walmart. I'll have it linked down below, but it just looks a little bit nicer and I can still kind of hide it in the closet. This is what our hallway looked like at this point. So even though it felt good knowing that everything was out of the bedroom, it was just all displaced out here in the hallway, which was overwhelming, but I knew I had to keep going and I had just planned on, this was all of the stuff that I was going to actually go through and then decide if it was staying in the house and going somewhere or being donated. Here 
here I had Mike join me and then even Avery came in and we were going through a bunch of old coats that we never even wore and they were just kind of pushed back here in the corner and so I wanted to go in here take Mike and decide what coats we wanted to save and what coats we wanted to donate empty room you can hear the babies crying mike's with them <laughs> um except for that that's kind of full and i just didn't want to drag it out there since it's plastic that's the internet so i didn't want to unplug that but we took pretty much everything out of here i did um we did go through we had a box down there we went through we saved a few coats and those are adult games <laughs> Um, like the games that we play with our friends. So we have those there. I'm gonna keep those in here since the kids won't need them. And we'll use this space for the office. But got everything out. I guess step one is done. The next thing I wanted to do was clean this room. I wanted to clean the blinds, scrub down the windows, clean the baseboards, vacuum around the baseboards, and vacuum this room. And I'll be 100% honest with you, since this room has been used as an extra room slash junk room, this room has never been properly cleaned. You guys have probably never seen me clean it. We don't come in here, so I've never cleaned it before. So it certainly felt good to get in here, clear everything out, and give it a good deep cleaning. But after I'm done vacuuming this room, then it is all done, all cleaned out. It just felt so good and it's continued to feel good as time has gone on. And as soon as I'm done with this room, I ended up putting everything away that was in the hallway. So literally everything was gone. We ended up donating a lot of things, throwing some things out and being able to rehome the stuff that we needed to keep. So stay tuned because I'm going to be decorating. We're going to be putting furniture together together painting this room so a lot more coming here on my channel in this room and the transformation so make sure you're subscribed make sure you have the notification bells turned on and make sure you come follow me on instagram i will see you guys next time